Hello, hello, hello. For you all know, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Truly, God is always, always so good in my life, and He's always worthy of all the honor and the praises. I will lift my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help, knowing that my help cometh from the Lord, who has made the heavens and the earth. And the Lord put this song on my heart to sing before I start with the um, Bible study. Um, it's not going to be long today, just something short and sweet, okay? Um, um, I made this song some years ago. I may not have what I want to have, but I put my trust in you. I may not be able to go the places that I want to go, but I put my trust in you, oh Lord. I may not be able to do the things that I used to do. And I may not be able to go the places that I used to go, but I put my trust in you. So I sit around, I pray to thee, yeah, knowing that you will make a way for me. For me and my family I'm nothing without you I can't breathe without you I can't move without you Without you in my life In my life so I sit around, I pray to Thee, knowing that You will make a way for me and my, for me and my, my friends and family. You know what? I'm nothing without Him. I'm nothing without you, without you in my life, in my life. You are my everything. You make my heart sing. You are my everything. You make my so yeah, yeah, you are my everything, Lord. You make my heart sing, Lord. You are my everything, Lord. You make my soaring sing, Lord. I'm nothing without you. Can't move without you. I can't breathe without you. I can't see without you. Hear without you, Lord. In my life, you are my everything, Lord. You make my soul sing, Lord. You are my everything, Lord. You make my heart ring, Lord. I'm nothing without you, without you in my life. You are my everything. You are my everything. You are my everything, Lord. You are my everything, Lord. You are my everything. You make my heart sing. You are my everything. 
You make my soul ring your I'm nothing without you, without you in my life. Mm -mm -mm. That's going to um, go into ring to um, into the um, La Bible study that I want to um, give you on today. And um, I'm going to say, buckle up your seatbelt. Y'all ever heard that turn of buckle up your seatbelt and enjoy the ride? Okay. And you know, like they tell you to buckle up in your car before you go. And um, when they tell you to buckle up your seatbelt and enjoy the ride, that means some good things are coming your way. Because he is our everything. He's a sovereign God. You know he's at every place, every every second, every hour at the same time. He's here with me. He's there with you. He's all over the world. He's all over the universe. Oh my God. At the same time, he can answer to answer your needs. He can answer my needs, your mama, your daddy, your sister, brother, our cousin, people that we don't even know. You know, so he's a suck. Uh, he said, Sovereign God, so buckle up your seatbelt. And, um, you know, like I said, you know, we buckle up the seatbelt when we, when we um, get into our cars and, and we're going, you know, um, wherever we're going, you know, because now you just get to button them up, buckle them up, you know, to get there safe, you know. And um, I tell y'all, so what I'm going to go to today is um, Isaiah 30 and 15. So turn your Bibles to Isaiah 30 and 15. And y'all know I'm coming out of the NIV Bible. Okay, and um, that's um, Isaiah 30 and 15. Okay, excuse me. And it reads as, okay, wait a minute, 30 and 15, okay? And it says, This is what the Sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says, In repentance and rest, is your salvation in repentance and rest is your salvation in quietness and trust is your strength in quietness and trust is your strength amen but you would have none of it but you would have none of the it Okay, you know it says um, repentance and rest is your salvation. Repent, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent um, to God. Be godly sorry and turn from your wicked ways and thou shalt be saved. And we must repent each and every day. You know, uh, we say, God, forgive us for the sins that we know of and the sins that we don't know of. But anyway, we got to repent every day there is no perfect person but we are perfect in christ jesus and he said when you repent then you rest rest in your salvation rest in your salvation jesus is our salvation rest in the lord and be of good cheer he says in quietness and trust in your strength in quietness and trust in your strength you're going to be quiet and you're going to um, trust in the strength of God. In quietness, I trust in his strength, you know. Okay, he said, but you would have none of it. You know, you know, there's so many things that's going on and we just can't rest and um, you can't um, um, trust or, uh, or be quiet or be still and see the salvation of the Lord. You know, we're just not at rest. But um, it says, fast, fasten your seat belts, okay? It says, um, thousands of people around the world travel by airplane daily. We climb aboard, fasten our seat belts, and spend the next few hours eating, reading, watching a movie until we land at our destination. All the while, we completely trust the pilot to direct the plane and keep us safe. Sometimes on the flight, we experience turbulence. Have y'all ever experienced turbulence on your flight? Yes. And then when we, we um, experience these turbulence in our flight, it says, when that happened, we 
place our confidence and in the skills and knowledge of the pilot to make the correct adjustments so that the ride will become smooth again. We put our trust in the in the skills and the knowledge of the pilot to make our the turbulence smooth again. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. And to make the correct adjustment to make that flight smooth again. We put our trust in that pilot. How about putting your trust in the Lord? Okay. How much more should we put our confidence in God? Okay. How much more should we put our confidence in God? He wants us to quit worrying. He wants us to quit worrying about our future and rest in him he wants us to quit worrying about our future and take rest in him take rest in him as we take that rest and we get to reading and we get to um watching a movie and and we get to eating and drinking and being merry on that flight you know trusting in that pilot but he wants us to work Rest in Him. Rest in the Lord. And don't worry about our future. And don't worry about our future. He wants us to rest in Him. And we can trust Him because His Word produces, I mean, prepares us that we, um, excuse me. Uh, okay, can prepare us that his plans for us are good, plans to prosper and to prosper you and not harm you. So we are on that plane and we know that we got our trust in this pilot, knowing that he got the skills and he has the knowledge to get us to where we got to go. But he wants us to put our trust in him. And knowing that his plans are to prosper us. Prosper us and are good. His plans to prosper us are good. Plans to prosper us and not harm us. Okay? God don't want to harm us. And like we put our trust in that pilot. Let's put our trust in God to give you hope for the future. And that's Jeremiah 28. 9 and 11 okay he want us to put our trust in him put our hope in him for our future he don't want us to worry about our future like i was singing that song and when i made that song um years ago um i was you know me and my husband i wanted to go somewhere with my husband and we just didn't have enough money and and um you know to go and just be with the family and stuff and you know and that's when i just was sitting there and i was like and um i began to sing that song um I may not have what I want to have. I'll go the places that I want to go. But I put my trust in God. So I don't know what you need to put your trust in. Um, I mean, know who you need to put your trust in. You have to put your trust in God. But I don't know what you need to trust Him for at this given moment or this given time. But um, we, um, you know, like we put our trust in um, the airplane pilot um, to get us to our destination um, at a certain time. And, you know, and everything. And we don't worry about the turbulence because we know that the plane is going to, uh, the air um, pilot is going to smooth the rough spots um, after a while. But God, he smooths the rough paths and the patches in our life he's smoothing it and he want us to trust in him and he want us to um uh um you know just just make a list of god's um uh um the things that god does for you and that he have opened the doors for you how many times that he has done it and um why can't you just put your confidence in him god wants us to put our confidence in him 
and to trust in him and believe that he can make that way out of no way. No matter what it seems like, no matter what it looks like, you know, no matter what we're going through, he is a way maker. You know, if you need healing for your body, he can heal your body. If you need a financial miracle, he is a miracle worker. If you know that someone has lost a loved one, or if you have lost a loved one, God is a comforter. You know, he says, um, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Um, you know, in the morning light, you know, he says, you know, he give us, um, he give us joy for our tears, you know, um, you know, and we just want the joy of the Lord to be our strength. He said he will strengthen you, you know, and I just thank God because I put my trust in him knowing that he can make a way um, for me. God is a sovereign God. He's everywhere at the same time time he's in every place at the same time he's in every home at the same time all of us no matter how many people in this universe we can call on the name of jesus and he will be right there he is a sovereign god his plans are to prosper us and um not to harm us so we got to put our trust in god knowing that he can make that way out of no way you know no matter what you're going through there's nothing too hard for god no problem is too big for god you know there's times we got to trust and believe and trust in him knowing that he can do whatever he wants to do when he wants to but he wants us to come to him he said come to him all that are heavy laden and he will give you rest um he will give you rest for your soul you know he wants us to rest in him he wants us to be silent he wants us to be quiet and he wants us to see the salvation of him that he can do all things but fail whatever you are in need of of the lord and whatever things you may be going through knowing that there is nothing too hard for god and there's nothing impossible for god you know just trust and believe that he can make that way out of no way he can turn your darkest night into day he is that sovereign god every place he's have everything he owns everything whatever you are in need of is at his fingertips just ask him for it you know there are miracles and i do believe in miracles and there are miracles in god so ask god for a miracle and he will give you that unexpected blessing that you are looking for if you got money that is being held up and you've been waiting for it for years and years and years and that money have not come to you call that money to you and then we're going to say lord release my finances release that money that belongs to me money coming to me now in the name of jesus they will not hold my money they will not hold my husband money anymore our money coming to us i declare and i decree healing i declare and i decree um a steadfast mind unmovable being anchored in the lord looking towards the hills from which cometh your help knowing that your help coming from the lord who has made the heavens and the earth and i says i said buckle up your seat belt we were buckling up our seat belt to take this plane ride so buckle up your seat belt you're gonna take a plane ride okay um it says buckle up your seat and enjoy the ride god has some things for you in 2018 today is the 8th of um um of february and it's two and it's 2018 those two eight new beginning new beginning you know i just trust in him he's gonna do some new things in our life on this year you know um he's gonna um, turn some things around and i'm looking for him to turn those things around in his favor and we're gonna give it all to god because our trust and our confidence are in the lord jesus christ to bring us out you know um if you're going through um 
not resting at night. God, give them rest in the sleep. Lord, touch their minds, touch their hearts, touch their bodies. Lord, touch the, um, you know, whatever they may be going through mentally, spiritually, um, emotionally. Lord, repair it in the name of Jesus, Lord. Put the broken pieces back together again. And we are trusting in you, Lord, knowing that you have an expected end for us. And we are not worrying about tomorrow because we know that you are tomorrow. We are not worrying worrying about our future because you have our future in your hands and we just trust in you Lord knowing that our future is great because when we're in you you're gonna make those things work out and Lord even touch our family members that's not saved and not have yield completely and totally to you Lord we just thank you for what you're doing in our lives and we're gonna buckle up our seatbelt and we're gonna enjoy the ride in 2018 I love y'all with the love of God. May his peace be with y'all until we meet again. You know, and like I said, um, I, I put my trust in God. I sit around and I pray to thee, knowing that you will make a way for me and my family. I'm nothing without you, can't move without you, can't breathe without you in my life. You are my everything, you make my heart sing. You are my everything, you make my heart ring. I'm nothing without you, without you in my life. I thank God for all of my new um subscribers i love y'all and for my old subscribers i love y'all with the love of god tell somebody about evangelist wanda booker and uh, may his peace be with y'all until we meet again and have your confidence and be assured that you know within your heart that god is a way maker he's a provider he is a healer he is a deliverer and whatever you are in need of knowing that it's at his fingertips Okay, I love y'all with the love of God. Peace out. Until we meet again, okay? <laughs>